loss made easy where there should be no hesitance in your weight loss and in your weight maintenance. Today we're going to continue the series on ultra processed foods and talk about candies. Now before we begin, if you need help with weight loss, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also check out my books, which you can find on Amazon, my podcast, The Awakened Man, which is very health related, my website, which has hundreds of articles and recipes, and lastly, if you should appreciate my content, there's a link for PayPal. All right, so we're continuing this series on ultra processed foods, and I wanted to definitely go back to the old episodes we've done this week, or the last week and a half, talk about candies. Candies, of course, is, I mean, we don't need to spend a lot of time on this because candies have absolutely no nutrition so there's two types of candies you're either going to do the the chocolate variety or the candy sugar variety so the chocolate variety obviously would be stuff like m m's butterfingers things like that and the candy variety would be like starburst um, nerds skittles and whatnot so let's look at those first the sugar-based candies have no nutrition there are no nutrition. So if you look at Skittles, Starburst, what are you looking at? Look on the back. It's going to be some sweetener, typically a corn-based sweetener, like high fructose corn syrup, and food dyes. And just shot up with preservatives. So it's just those three things. And the thing about candies in general is they're shot up with so much preservatives so they don't get bad. I mentioned in a previous episode, like gas stations stay profitable, not because of the gas. It's because of the stuff they sell inside. So candies don't get bad. So again, grocery stores, I love the ultra processed foods because they don't get bad, whether it be chips or cereals, things that we've talked about before. So candy's no different. So if you look at the sugar candies, they are even more egregiously bad for us. You look at food dyes are linked to hyperactivity and bladder cancer, and we know high sugar dyes lead to, to cancer, and of course heart disease and all these things, obesity and all these things. So the, the sugar candies are worse. So if you have to have like a predilection towards some sort of candy, make it the chocolate-based candy. Now in the chocolate-based candy, it's the same issue what, whatever you're looking at, if it's Hershey's milk chocolate or Butterfingers or you know, there's a wide variety, Twix, all these things, you're still looking at a lot of sugar, mostly corn-based sugar, and it's hidden ingredient names like maltodextrin, dextrose, stuff like that. You're still looking at tons of genetically modified oils, the same thing you'd find at Skittles. So if you look on the back, you're going to find either soybean oil or canola oil as an emulsifier. In many of them, you're looking at food dyes as well to give them that like you think butterfinger i mean what's natural and butterfinger to make it that orange you're still looking at that the difference is chocolate okay so chocolate if you look at milk chocolate like a hershey's bar the cocoa which is a lower version of cacao is the third ingredient in milk chocolate behind what what's number one sugar what's number two milk so is there more nutrition in candy bars that are chocolate based than sugar candies? Absolutely. But it's like Stalin, it's like Hitler going to Stalin for advice on how to run a country with, with a good human rights record. I mean, it's like they're both horribly bad. But at least with the, the, the chocolate based candies, you're getting some nutrition from the, the, the cacao, most of them are cocoa, but refined, cocos refined from cacao, which is the bean that you get chocolate from. But at least you're getting some nutrition from those candies. But in general, they're horrifically bad for you as well. Now, I talked about it in my playlist, 20 kitchen items that have helped me maintain my weight, that I do eat dark chocolate every day, but it's 90% dark chocolate. So you can go to that episode. I'll see if I can remember to put a banner here. So the higher the number, the lower the sugar. So if you're eating 90, 95, which a lot of people feel tastes like dirt, I've, I've acquired a taste for it. When I was younger, I thought dark chocolate, first of all, dark chocolate wasn't really around when I was younger, but you develop a taste in it and, and you develop, it's kind of like wine. You just savor the dark chocolate taste of it. It's not something you gulp down like a Gustus Gloop from Willy Wonka. But if you're going to have to have a candy proclivity, I would tell you dark chocolate, 90% not flavored. So if you're looking at Lint or Ghirardelli, these brands, it can't be the ones that are filled with caramel, filled with strawberry, which is not strawberry, filled with toffee. No, it's got to be just 90 to 95%, or you can do 85. And don't eat a lot, you know, maybe this much of a serving a day, just a block of it and savor it. But in general, candies are junk. And I'm just saying dark chocolate's better, but dark chocolate, unless you're buying the high quality stuff, it's going to have preservatives in there. We talked about how we're eating so many foods with preservatives that our bodies are decomposing at a slowest rate ever in human history. But at least if with the high percentage dark chocolate, 
cacao is very good for us it's very good for us and so if you have to eat candy go that route pretty much all the other candies it's just processed refined crap sugar crap ingredients and with dark chocolate if you get the right brand it's going to use cane sugar the small amount that it's sweetened and believe me look at the back of a 70 percent dark chocolate bar and compare it to a 90 percent and the, even in a 70 percent the sugar is about 20 grams per serving. That's like a soda, so you're still getting tons of sugar. But if you get to 90%, it's like six grams per serving. So again, that's less than a banana. So again, overall candy, stay away from it. Guys, post in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care, God bless, and pray.